Okay, as you can see, they're all built. This one has 30 plates. Two neutrals in between each one of these. Why two neutrals? Because that's the way it works better for me. Okay, and uh, here's the one I just got done with here. Big fat boy. 30 plates. Okay. This little diagram here, this represents the outer lining of the PVC tube. And then this little angle here is going to be my strap to uh, fasten it inside the PVC underneath the water line so these bolts stay cooler, as I said in my previous video. Okay, and I'm making the straps out of 3 16 stainless. And it's 20 gauge. It'd be, be alright. And I got it marked because I'm going to cut this straight down here and make a couple straps out of it. Probably about three out of that one. And then I'll make another mark. Make three more. Okay. Now, the reason I didn't make a dry cell it's not because I can't, it's because <clears throat> too much for the same thing. Okay, a lot of people put five neutrals in between a positive and negative. That's fine. Because all, all their plates are the same. You know, right across here, they're all the same. And so many neutrals, they... Like a positive will jump the edges all the way over to the uh, negative, and you get very you get a lot of production off the neutrals, but it's mainly around the edges of it. Don't ever produce right directly in the middle. So this one, the reason why, like this is a positive. And it has to, it can't go all, all the way over here. That's a quarter of an inch. It has to pass through that neutral plate right there. It's not going to jump a quarter of an inch across two neutrals. It has to force the current through two neutrals into the pot, into the negative, which is the same way. It's all the positive and negatives are two inches wide. All the neutrals are two and a half inches wide. Up here at the top, I'm going to coat or tape or something all the tops. That way, it don't even try to jump over the easiest, less resistance, you know, across the tops here. That's why... I put a, my neutrals so wide because I don't want the current jumping over the side of the neutral plates and just producing gases on the edges. I want it to produce gases in between the neutrals as this one feeds through there. <coughs> and another deal is, is when I set this cell in a five gallon bucket of water and put say three teaspoons of baking soda in it and hook it directly up to the battery through the jumper cables with no PWM or anything this barely produces anything okay that's what I was aiming for something that don't want to produce anything like in just plain water, no baking soda, it won't produce nothing. It just sits there and you think it's, it's no good. But that's what I call zero to 10% production. To me, that I like zero production. In plain water, this won't produce maybe one or two bubbles. 
But when you put the baking soda in it, three teaspoons in a five gallon bucket of water, it produces, you know, a little. That that was my goal. Because I want to force <clears throat> the amps in it. I don't want it to draw any on its own at all. If it's drawing, then I did something wrong. Because you need to force the amps. You gotta force feed this thing. That way it's not pulling on your alternator or pulling on your battery. You're giving it what it's gonna get and that's all it's gonna get. If I set it for 70 amps, this whole deal, you know, all four of them wired in series, and if I set it for 70 amps, they're not even going to try to draw anymore. If if I need more, I'm going to have to feed it more. That That's the goal. Now, uh, a brute force cell like this, where all you have is positive and negative, positive. And oh, yeah, it's going to, there's 18 plates here. Brute force. And it, as soon as you stick it in the water, it starts drawing. Well, how are you going to control that if it's already trying to draw 30 amps? Uh, you know, you can use a CCPWM by Zero Fossil Fuel, but I don't even recommend, I don't even think he would recommend using brute force, you know. So this, this is, was my goal is to have it not draw nothing from you know straight water and have to make it you know produce and then it produced very little you know because it wasn't drawing nothing it didn't draw my alternator down it, you know it didn't change the idle you know this when you first hook it up you can hear your alternator pull down well this didn't do it and I was happy I was like all right I reached what I wanted to do now whenever I hook it up I can force it to take what I want it to take and I don't have to worry about it drawing you know 80 if I got it set for 70 I don't have to worry about it dropping you know down to 50 because I have it set for 70 and uh, if I go a hundred miles and I'm putting out 70 amps into this I don't have to worry about it being too hot, you know, and all that. Plus, all this goes, all the water that's being circulated through these, it's going to be about 10 gallons of water. And you've seen my generator in the previous video. And um, I've got a radiator. And all I have to do now is hook it all up. So my next step is to cut this plate, use my little bender right here, put the little piece of metal in there, and this is, you know, you tighten it down like this, it's just a cheap tabletop version, then you bend your metal, or you bend it this way, whichever way, it'll roll it, you know, put a little roll on it. But I think I'm going to put it in there, bend it over, and tap it with a hammer to get a good square bend on it. I have one that I... That already did. There it is. Uh, and I haven't squared it up. I can square it up by laying it on the side of my metal table. And just square it up. But anyway, that was just playing around. But now you see, you know, my strap should be just like this. But they're going to be, you know, they're, this is just a demo, you know, they're going to be longer. The cell's going to sit closer to the bottom. And there's going to be a lot of water over the top of it. Okay. And you can see all that stainless steel tubing I put in here on all of them and these take a while to build especially when you you're sanding I sand each plate up and down and side to side and then this way 
the positives, the neutrals, the negatives, front and back. That's what took so long. But now you have it. And I even have them set up where this one has one plate on the front. This one has two. This one has one. This one has two. That's This little thing here is just for me to know which ones are being wired how. Okay. Well, now that you see see these I'll show you one other little deal this is a four inch schedule 40 oh. they go right in there And there's plenty of room right here to put a positive and plenty of room down here let me turn this let me turn me plenty of room right here to connect my negative because it, it's going to go through the sidewall as you've seen in the previous video so my little straps will go here and here up to the wall and that my friend is a real fat if I would have fat cell if I would have put two more cells neutrals on there it would not have fit so it worked out perfect so Back to work I go, hi-ho, hi-ho. Well, you can, this is N.L. Olin for solar energy and hydrogen. Or as I my stickers say on my hydrogen units, fire in the water.